All right. Welcome to uh, Hymenoptera Unboxes. I got a new guitar today. So uh, this is a GOC Guitars Materia. Materia? Uh, materia is what they call it, yeah. And as you can see, they... Uh, it looks like a giant block of cheddar cheese. <laughs> it's they, quite uh, delicious. They take the shit out of this thing, so... Yes, they did. And this is from China? It is from China, I see. China. We maybe should have sprayed it down with disinfectant just to make sure. Ooh. <laughs> should we be wearing masks? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so we've got... Styrofoam. Interesting. Careful, that's going to yeah. make a mess. Yeah. They don't even do cardboard. What the fuck? It, it is cardboard, but it's like... Oh, it's like apart. cardboard. Yeah, but there's styrofoam under it. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Ooh, this is like... Broken. Got wet at some point. Maybe. Ew, that's a little nerve wracking. No, styrofoam resists water. Yeah. Cardboard, on the other hand. Not yeah, so the way it's just... Ooh, you can feel yeah, it. Like Put your apart. thumb in there. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like... That's moist. wet. It's a little bit worrisome, but... You can smell it. Ugh. Yeah, as, as you can see, the packaging... Wow. Is, oh, yeah, there's the wetness. Look at that. We got a water stain in this. That's not uh -oh. good. Oh, don't worry about that. Chinese water. Just slice it down the middle. Yeah. Play it open like a fresh <laughs> deer kill. Ooh, hello. Ooh, sexy. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Got that fish. I should try my knife. It's way sharp. <laughs> this is way sharp because it's trying to cut through my cardboard, apparently. Dude, I think I'm going to flay that like a hot knife. Is better. Yeah, even oh, you want your? Yeah, you might. Oh, even that's mushy. Awesome. Hopefully, the guitar is unharmed. In now, there. one thing is the contest we just entered is giving away some of these. Yeah. Careful how deep you go with that. That's not, yeah. Okay, it feels less wet up there, so maybe it was just. Hopefully, it didn't get past the styrofoam. I'll pull this away if you grab the core. Yeah, there we go. You got it? Oop, not really. Oh, maybe not. I've got the top of it. <laughs> the wet Hang cardboard on. is like sticking I'm to it. I'm trying to do this and hold the camera. It's a girl. <laughs> All right. All right. Hang on, let's stand back. Oh, there's a lot of stuff there's on it. There's a lot of plastic. <laughs> is that the back? Uh, no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, is that a gig bag, sort of? Or is it a t-shirt? No, oh, you got a shirt. Yeah. What size is it? Uh, Large. Wow, you lucked oh, out. that's the right size, too. See, my fat ass would be out of luck. I have to give it to you. Right. Nice. It's like a mandolin. It's so teeny. Right. <laughs> uh, this is my first headless guitar and also my first fretless guitar. Or fan fret guitar. I was like fretless, you yeah, idiot. No, I, don't, I wouldn't want to play a fretless. That'd be fun. Yeah, got pretty good with it sometimes. And it's yes, cool. he does. Quite well. Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty. Are these like stock pickups? Um, yeah, they're the stock pickups. They're own wound uh, fourth dimension, is what they call them. Well, if they suck, we can just jack the ones out of your uh, shaker. Yeah, I'm actually curious to do like an A-B with those at some point. That's a lot of work. Let me see the back. Yeah. Right back. Oh, they're actives. Uh, they are not actives. They it, pre it, Nope. They could just come pre-drilled oh, just if you in want case you want to go at Yep. Huh. Which is, I think, kind of cool. I'm going to be six, sticking passive. Six but bolts on the neck bolts. for a tiny neck with no head. Right. <laughs> Flip that around. In there. Now you have more fun buying strings. Yeah, right. Alright, well we're gonna pause for a second so we can fire this bitch up. Yeah. <laughs> Like 
orient myself. <laughs> right. Um, apologies in advance if I suck. I have not played a whole lot of fan fret. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't played that shit in ages, anyway. Um, play like a weird chord up high, or not a weird chord, but play something up high to see if it's intonated already. Oh yeah, like a just like a minor. Like, ooh. No, like just like a like a fucking bring a minor triad like oh, chord. Okay. The, to the to tuning could have wandered already. We just spent a yeah. uh, good, I don't know, how long tuning this fucking like 10, thing? 10, 15 minutes tuning it Yeah, up. because yeah. of the weird bridge scenario. Yeah, so... Point that at the okay. camera. So the, uh... You got this kind of thing, and once they start getting tension on them, you can't do it with your fingers no more. We were using a guitar pick to yep. tune it the rest of the way. Um, just so you know. Yeah. Good, the, better, uh, and different. <laughs> Muscle memory is gone! Right, yeah. You're playing fan frets. <laughs> you have entered fan fret land. Sweeping is a whole other nightmare like it already wasn't to begin with. These things um, are difficult. Are, is that full bore open wide pickups? Uh, yeah, that's full bore, so... Hmm. Oh! What happened? That's how you snap a string in like two minutes, apparently. You broke a string already. Yeah. Well, from the wrong end, no less. Yeah, it looks like it let go of the ball, <coughs> like the. Well, wow. Factory strings. <laughs> <laughs> um, that honestly doesn't really surprise me all that much. That um, sucks, though. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> right out the box. Right. Um. I think the low end sounds really good on the. On the bridge, like kind of lifeless in the high mids. Yeah, the and then what I was kind of what I was thinking. The lead too, tones, was especially, high, kind of like, weak. Try the neck pickup. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, not much special to that. So are we gonna yank the pickups out of your Schecter and stick them in this bitch? I'll probably get a different set of pickups put in here. Oh. Mm, oh. We'll see. We'll see. Oh. I mean, same thing. I think the I think the low end sounds decent, but definitely a little bass heavy. Yeah. Um But I mean, as far as like out of the box pickups, like. Not... Um. Let's spend some time with it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I have to use the fan fret thing. That's definitely a different Ooh, monster. Here is kind of pretty. It's a weird kind of neck thingy, but yeah. But going over it for like the fit and finish and everything, I don't. I didn't see anything that stood out to me as a problem. Um, everything looks good on it. Out of the box, the action is pretty good. Out of the box, I would. I like it a little bit lower, but that's like. You know, that's all personal preference. Yeah, you're, we don't even know what the string gauge is either, so you might want to change that eventually anyway. Yeah, I'll probably switch the strings out. I'll probably, I probably was going to change the whole set of strings pretty soon anyway. To so my basically you just anyway, squish so. the string in there, and it's kind of like a locking tuner, except you tune it down there. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> that's weird. But, uh... That's so strange. It's like two-thirds of a guitar. Right, it's like a reverse... It's almost like a reverse Floyd Rose in a way. If, if you don't mind, what did you pay for it? Um, so after shipping and customs and tax and everything, it came out to nine eighty. Um, so and you know, when did you order it? Um, now with I ordered it a month ago, basically a little over a month ago. It's still faster than my carbon showed up. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> they um, took uh, ten weeks. Yeah, because I so I actually messaged them on Facebook about a week ago because um, I was starting to get a little bit worried because it had been a month since I'd ordered the guitar, and the tracking hadn't updated at all from, like, July 25th. Right. Um, they got back to me really fast. They actually made some phone calls and were able to figure out that it had shipped and was in U.S. Customs. 
um, but the tracking doesn't update in customs. Um, but they said that usually it's about 12 to 20 days to get it here, but it took a little bit longer because of the COVID stuff that's going on. Um, I actually wasn't even, I checked, I checked yesterday and there still were no updates, so I wasn't even expecting to get it today. <laughs> mm. I got a knock on my door and I was That's like, what? what happens when stuff comes from China or whatever. It yeah. sometimes just gets lost and lost at sea. But glad to see that even though there was some moisture, water damage to the box, yeah. the guitar seems to be fine. Um... I'll need to spend some more time with it to really have like a more solid opinion. But first, <laughs> you got to change that string. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but first impressions are good at least. Still on the neck pickup. Yeah, I like that the controls are pretty out of the way. Yeah, I like the basicness. They don't split, do they? Is that a push pull? Uh, nope. No, but I think from the one of the I could put I was that in for you. Um, that these are splittable pickups, I think. They just don't come with it. Hmm. Um, I wouldn't worry about keeping yeah. those pickups. I'm, I'm, I'm it's not. Pretty so much the same as the leg guitars, man. Like they, they're pretty solid guitars, but it's, the pickups are junk. Yeah. You know. We'll see. I'll, There's plenty of Seymour Duncans out there in the world that to make true. you happy. And I do love my Seymour. I want to do. I want to do Very shootout affordable. with this with the with the sentient and the Nazgul that are in my Schecter. Um, just to kind of have like an AV, you know, and hear what it all sounds like, but. Well, there you go. Kyle yeah. got a new guitar. Yay. Who are they again? GOC Guitars. GOC Guitars. And they are Chinese, I guess, huh? Yep. So you can get some Big Fu Young with that. <laughs> That's rude. I'm sorry. I never know when to shut up. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully this has been informative and educational and entertaining for all of you. And uh, if not, go watch our other video where we do the last more sets on. <laughs> yeah, please. Bye.